With just a few days to go until the Curiosity rover arrives on Mars, NASA scientists are beginning to feel the pressure. $2.5 billion worth of cutting-edge science is currently hurtling towards the Red Planet, where the giant 900-kilogram rover will spend up to two years trying to ascertain whether Mars could ever have hosted life. And trying to land this bear moth on a 20km by 7km landing zone tens of millions of miles away on August 6th is only the start of the problem, as programme director Doug McEuston explains. Is it crazy? Well, not so much. Once you get comfortable, once you understand it, it's not a crazy concept. It works. Is it risky? Landing on Mars is always risky. There are hundreds of discrete events that occur from release of the cruise stage, to parachute deployments, to heat shield deployments. All of these are unique and anyone could cause problems. We go from 13,000 miles an hour to zero in seven minutes. The rover will land using a revolutionary rocket crane. After the primary capsule slows in the atmosphere, it will drop the crane units, which will then slow itself using rocket engines before lowering the rover to the surface on cables and moving off to a safe distance.